Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. You know, Janet said, listen, there are some flies out there that you put on to stimulate a bite. They call them stimulators. We stopped by the evening hatch with Janet to tie one up. So today this uh, is a stimulator pattern. It's a little unusual. Uh, it's not a typical tie and uh, it's called the rainbow stimulator. Uh, so it has a lot of flash to it. It can be a, um, a searching pattern. It can represent a stonefly or a caddisfly. And that's, I thought it'd be a good good tie. And that's what I was gonna say, like, let's be clear, there's no rainbow bug. Right. But, th but it could be any of the above and allow you to catch fish. That's correct. Something that stimulates the fish to, right. to look up and say, hey, that looks tasty. I think I might look at that closer. Janet uses a size 14 3XL hook. And like every fly, it starts with the base thread layer and she uses black thread. She keeps it two eye lengths from the front. Next, she prepares the tail by stacking elk hair and lining it up with the hook. One of the biggest mistakes new tires make is um, they don't feel that hook in between their thumb and index finger and the material tends to roll. So it's hard sometimes, but you don't peek. Like I don't see what's going on under there yet until I start to draw my fingers away and I can see that I have that tail in where I want and then I look and if I need to pull some out, I can do that. And there's the tail. Next, Janet ties in silver wire. So I always tell students, like, the, the first thing you tie in is the last thing you're going to wrap in. Okay, so we're going to just put that wire there and let it sit. And then we're going to take our tinsel, pearl tinsel, and we're going to tie that in. And then I'm just going to run my thread forward. And you can see now I have a nice smooth underbody here. Yeah. And so now when I wrap this, I'm going to come around. And this is the part where you really have to keep tension. That's another mistake that some tires starting make. You got to keep tension. If you leave any slack, you're going to lose the material and everything will come undone. She then wraps the wire to show a segmented type of body. And cutting that off, and that, that gives that fly okay. some segmentation there. So now, now the fun part is I like this crystal flash, and the question is like, well, how much should I tie in? I don't know, how flashy do you want it? So, I mean, it's sort of up to you. So I take a few strands of the crystal flash, usually about three or four strands, and then to tie this in, the easiest way to do it is just put it against the thread, lift the thread up, and then bring it down and tie it in. Now that little ramp that I made there is going to make this crystal flash stand up. So what I want to do now is trim this and I want to trim it to where right where that tail begins to get my proportion. Doesn't have to be perfect but you can see now how it stands up a bit. Janet then adds a little elk hair by wrapping it with thread and slowly trimming the excess. She pushes the hair back to keep the eye open and finishes it with more black thread and a whipped finish before cutting it. She then changes thread color to red and builds a head for the fly before finishing it with a hackle. So the idea now is to take the hackle, okay, the, the feather, and we're gonna tie that in, but I want spacing, it's called palmering. We're gonna have spacing between it so that red shows through. So I'm just gonna pull off some of the barbs here of the main stem. And all of these hackle have a dull side and a shiny side, okay? Uh, and what you want is you want that shiny side facing front of the fly, because it's sort of cupped, and that will allow the barbs to have the right attitude facing back on the fly. So I'm going to just lock that in. And then just take a hackle plier. And I like to make this first turn as a collar, right where that red meets the wing. So I'm going to go around that one time nice and clean and then start moving forward and really you need two or three turns of this. This is really all you need for this fly. 
and then hold everything straight up. When you do that, it prevents the barbs from getting caught. So you hold the material you're going to cut off straight up. And we're just going to go in there and trim that. Come on. And with a few more wraps, a whipped finish, and some head cement, our fly is complete. It's an interesting fly, and I'll rotate it here for you so you can actually see uh, the bottom, which I think, you know, as a fish looks up at that, you can see that. Oh, yeah. Right? You can see how that looks from underneath. So it's, um, I think it's going to be a great attractor fly. And I like to t tie it in a size 14 because um, lots of caddis, you yeah, know, 14s that uh, are, are that size. So that's the, that's the uh, rainbow stimulator. So there you have it, instructor, guide, retired school teacher, fly tire. I gotta tell you what, you want any information on that organization, go to eveninghatch.com. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back.